Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop with a quick little repair video for you today. This is the deck of a John Deere mower. And as you can see, something is missing. That something is this. So, from what I understand, the deck suffered an impact. Maybe kind of see there's a little dent right there. And it's not, su I mean, it's rusty, of course, surface rust. I scraped underneath and stuff, and it's still pretty thick. Well, as thick as a mower deck is going to be. You can see with the rust, there's not a lot of feathering, as I like to call it. All the break is pretty sheer, like from an impact. It probably originated around the little half moon part in the middle of the screen. That were, There was a hole right there. See, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna clean this up with the grinder. Clean this guy up. Take a round file, and anywhere there's a jagged edge, I'm going to uh, take the file to it, kind of like how you would drill a crack to keep it from spreading. I like to do that with these. That's another hole there. Now there is gonna be the piece missing off the back. So we'll get this guy stabbed in there. And then I'll put a, what the customer wants me to do is grind this off, weld this back in here, and take a piece of angle iron, weld it across there and back up against there to, you know, kind of reinforce it a bit. Uh, these, de these decks are pretty expensive, and so I told him I'd do it for just an hour's charge. So that shouldn't take long, be a quick, easy fix, and it'll hold for what it's doing. Yeah. I guess what happened is the mower was in his shop. He had the deck like halfway off because he was moving stuff in his garage, and he had a motor on an engine stand, and it tipped somehow and hit this. This is a, this arm was bent. I mean, it's supposed to have this kind of bend in it. But it had a notice, shiny gouge and bend in it. This is just a spare that I had. So something hit it. Uh, yeah, I'll get that cleaned up with the wire wheel. I'll show you some of the stuff with the file, I mean. And I'll bring you back. Okay, so I got this all cleaned up. It's all shiny here. What I do is I take a file. And you're going to see where I've done it a few places. Anywhere there is a sharp, jagged break. Run the file down a couple times. Like there, there, there. You see the round mark of the file there, there. That will get rid of the uh, stress risers, if you want to call them. It will really help the cracks from propagating. Cleaned up quite a ways past it. Didn't see any other cracks. Right. This guy all cleaned up. So down here. Kind of a... Uh, fits nice. So I'm going to fill that bolt hole in. Run some beads. All around there. And then patch that hole. Um... What I would like to do is just cut this plate off. You know, cut it. Like, an, put an eighth inch plate on here. You know, cut above the weld. Because you can adjust this on the mower so the height can fluctuate a bit. But, customer was dead set on me fixing it this way. So, what I'm going to do what the customer wants me to do. And I know this guy. I've done a lot of work for him in the past. He's one of those old timers where he will literally complain if I do it a different way. You know, if I would do that, which this repair will be fine for what it is. You know, it's just a lawnmower. It will hold. There'll be lots of weld on there. It's all good metal. There was no pitting. Once I took the paint away and stuff, there was zero pitting and everything. So it's all good still. But uh, I would like to weld a big, you know, plate on there. But... It's what he wants, so that's what he's going to get. 
So I'll get the uh, welder set up, get this tacked into place, and I'll see if I can get a shot with the tripod. Uh, I'll give it a shot. Anyway, I'll bring you back when I'm on to the next phase. Okay, so I've got it mostly welded. I tried to set it up with the camera, or well, as you may know, I use a phone. And all, all the picture was, was a big bright flash. You could, you could literally see nothing. So I need to uh, work on that. So, and I haven't cleaned anything up. I ran a bunch of stringers. And I was actually able to fill, still got some work to do, that hole entirely with weld. So what I do is I've been welding on rusty metal for years and years and years and years and years. Usually rusty 10 gauge. So if any of you are familiar with pipe welding on rusty 10 gauge steel, you know, you learn a trick or two. So, you know, it's hanging this way, so the stresses are that way. So I started, this area was tight. So I ran over here, but over here, I ran short stringers and just built it up, 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 ran a cap on the top. I'm still gonna run two Wii's across this to fill it in, but this is all the way out about a weld's width past uh, the, the hole. I tied that guy in, that guy in, that guy in. And these are stringers over here too. I filled the hole, uh, one on the, this part, one on that part, and then I capped it and weaved them in together. I might run one more from here to here. There's plenty of weld, plenty of heat in this part. So I was actually able to fill in the gap entirely. I took a five pound sledge, whacked this a couple times, it didn't move at all. So yeah. Tied in that corner, filled in that hole, like I said. Right there, that's just a dark spot. Again, I haven't cleaned this yet. I just stopped in the middle, let you know what I was doing. And you can kind of see the bases of it here. Went stringer, stringer, and just built it on up upon itself until I bridged it. Then I did two cross ones, and then I'm going to... Uh, that's a little spattery looking right there because I ran out of spool when I was going through there. So it was feeding real jittery. So grind that flat and get that. And that'll be more than sufficient. I mean, it is, it's solid in there. It's not going anywhere. Now, he didn't want me to paint it. I was going to clean all this off, you know, all this loose paint. He's like, no, no, I'll pull the deck off. I'll power wash it. He has a nice, uh, hot sea pressure washer he likes to use on stuff i guess just to justify purchasing it so i'll do some more welding here mostly just welding so it's i like it so weld some more that bolts there just to keep slag out of the thread but yeah not the, not the prettiest welds but they're fine uh i've done a lot of welding i've never had anything i will fail i'm gonna tell you a funny story here I rebuilt, there's a farmer who has like 20 pump stations that are all about the same. They each have a 30 horse pump, but they're all set up the same. And he was using this other guy as a welder. I was busy trimming impellers for him because he didn't want to change sprinklers for some reason. So I was putting the impellers back in and he added some pressure gauges and stuff to one of them and air release. So this one guy welded it. And... I, I'm sorry if any of you guys are welders, but through my day job and all this, you'll never see a welder compliment another welder's work. That's all I can say. Well, I've never seen it. So he had me do one station, and that welder uh, welded it. And then like two months later, we went to one that looked just identical, so you couldn't tell them apart. And we were adding... Uh, a bypass valve so he could hook a fertilizer tank to it so when the welder got there it was the same one he worked on a couple weeks ago i was like yeah we called you in this time because the other guy you know 
his stuff didn't look all that great. And he looked over his own welds that he'd done to, you know, two some odd months ago. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I'll, my work would be much better than this. So me and the farmer thought that was funny. So it'll work. It'll hold. So, yeah, I will probably won't show it, but I'll do a few more welds and grind that. But yeah, then I took some measurements. These are all still where they should be. Of course, you know, everything on these mowers dangles and wiggles pretty freely. So if you're within a sixteenth of an inch or a thirty-second, you're, you're fine. So yeah, that deck is repaired. I'm not going to put that angle on there. I didn't like that idea because it kind of interfered with the, uh, the way he wanted me to do it. I called him. It's got this blade thing, you know, that covers it. And he wanted it to stick past there. And I was like, well, it can't. And then he's like, well, can you notch this? I was like, let me just weld it solid. <laughs> and he was like, okay. So he relented on that part. So, yep. The deck is repaired for the most part. I finished the welding. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.